pursuant to Mass General Law as we are recording this meeting for the minutes. And LCAT is taping the meeting. If anyone else is recording this meeting, please identify yourself and your organization. Okay, let's call the roll. Jeff Pauser. Mary Ellen Goodrow. Tony Zampachini. Robert Sheets. Okay, so first thing is to make a motion. Do we have a chance to read the minutes for 22nd and the 12th? I read it. I read it. We have the 12th year. We have 12th and 22nd, and it should be the package. 22nd. Let's see, the package is just the 12th. I'm sure I read it when I got it, I just don't know. Yeah, it's in design. Oh. Do you have them from before? Have you I do not. Have you read them? Well, I did, but. I did when they were were they emailed to us? Yeah. Then I read them then, but I don't recall. Do you have a copy of it there? Just so that I just want to refresh my memory. You can motion for yeah. the twenty second first and, yeah. and make then a motion to approve the minutes of May twenty second. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Um, do, you, do you wanna, we can continue the 22nd if you want, Mary Ellen. 12th. I'm um, sorry. No, I did read this. June I just 12th. needed to refresh my memory as to yeah. which one that one was. And I'm fine with it, so. Um, I make a motion to approve the minutes as written for June 12th. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Good job, Beth. They were great. Okay, old under old business, um, CC 2019-04 request for certificate of compliance for 30 Heritage Circle, Mass DEP file number, excuse me, my glass, 150205 requested by applicant for a request for certificate of compliance. 30 Heritage Circle, Assessor's Parcel ID 4784, 8. Applicant, uh, Doherty, Doherty, Wallace, Pillsbury, Murphy, PC, 14, 14 Main Street, Suite 1900, Springfield, Mass, 01044, representing Michael Zwerko and Patricia Zwerko. Um, So we have not received. Yeah, because we're supposed to get the letter, right? right? Right. So I sent them an email yesterday to see if they were ready or if they wanted to continue, and I haven't heard anything from them. So. Okay, so do I make a move to continue that to our yeah. next meeting? I make a motion to continue that to our uh, July meeting, first meeting of July. I don't know what the date is. 10th. July 10th. 10th. So Okay, number two, CC. We need Wait, a, second. We need a, we need a second. Oh, all right, sorry. I made the motion. I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, number two is CC 2019-05, request for certificate of compliance for nine Sherwood Lane, Mass DEP file number 150271. Request by applicant for request for certificate of compliance for nine Sherwood Lane. Assessor's uh, parcel parcel ID number 7576-40R. Applicant is Lori De Janeiro, 44 Plantation Drive, Suffield, Connecticut, 06078. They also requested a continuance. 
So we received email from uh, Ash. Ash at this is the attorney's She's, office. Yeah. Okay. So we received an email from the attorney's office requesting a continuance on CC two thousand nineteen dash 05. I'm, I move that we continue uh, CC 2019-05 until the July 10th meeting. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Case number NOI 2019-06, notice of intent for 244 Shaker. Filed, uh, wait a minute. Parcel ID 1835-0, filled by Sibad Development Partners, I don't know if I pronounce that right, or LP, One Monarch Place, Suite 1300, Springfield, Mass, 01144. Construction of the proposed bank and commercial building within the buffer zone to bordering vegetated wetlands and isolated vegetated wetlands, prepared by Robert Levesque Associates, for School Street, Westfield, Mass, 01085. Oh, continue from May 8th. Did we get a continuance on? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did, right? Multiple. Yeah, multiple. Okay. All three of those. All righty. So number four is the enforcement order for... Oh, 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 oh. You, got, you got to finish. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. Yeah. It was continued three times. Yeah, so. Was there a continuance for this again, Rob? Yes, sir. I can I can give you an update. Okay. okay. Uh, so we were, um, Rob Lebeck, Mar Lebeck Associates, we were um, able to meet with Tom Christensen from DPW regarding his comments related to stormwater. Specifically, they wanted us to reduce or try to eliminate to the best of our ability the water that runs to Shaker Road. There's a kind of a, the, the call it the swale wetland that comes yeah. down to a, a pipe, an old clay pipe that then runs into um, Shaker Road. So we did meet out on site with him. We talked about the options and what we could and couldn't do. Um, we have what we think is a, um, a pretty viable option that will be, uh, we plan to go back and confirm with him before the next meeting. But I would expect by the next meeting we should have that resolved assuming that the next meeting is about two weeks from now uh, yeah. or whenever whenever you guys are meeting next july 10th uh, july um i don't know if tom's out on vacation that would probably be the only thing that would delay oh, it okay. but um if he's not then i would expect we would we would have hopefully have things resolved by then that we're in, in current contact with with tom back and forth so i would expect by the next meeting so we would respectfully request a continuance <laughs> to the next meeting We'll try to let you know as early as possible if we do need to continue, and that would only probably be because we're not connecting because of vacations and stuff. Good. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. I'll make a motion that we continue uh, case NOI 2019-6 to the July 10th meeting. So moved. All those in favor? Second. Oh, yeah, second. Sorry. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Number four is the enforcement or order for 101 Old Farm Road, AKA Route 26, successful parcel ID 42-3826 for violation by William, and I cannot pronounce the name, and Shalom, so I don't know the last name. Uh, 101 Old Farm Road, it's on now, now, yeah, Removal of the trees adjacent to the intermittent stream on site located near a vernal pool and priority protection habitat. This is a continuation from May 8th, 2019, and May 22nd, 2019, and June 12th, 2019. Good evening. So, Again. Again, for the record, Rob Levesque from our Levesque Associates. Uh, we uh, were able to conduct a site visit with a few members of the commission this evening, um, at which uh, point we were able to look at uh, the impacts that, that, that exist out on the subject property. We looked at what we believe to be uh, the limit of work or the former location of 
what we'll call a chicken wire fence out there. Um, and then we looked at possi the possibility of picking or agreeing upon or whatever the proper term would be, um, a location for the limit of work that would encompass uh, the, the pool. And I don't want to speak out of school, but it would encompass the pool and then would, would come across the back of the property parallel to the back of the house at a fixed distance so that everybody knew what that was. Um, the owner has, I believe, requested approximately 28 feet off of the back of the subject of the house for the subject property. Um, there is a two foot overhang. Um, and here's, yeah. Sorry. I just was explaining where we were at with the site visit. Um, so I have the plan that we've submitted based on the discussion this evening. Um, I was, you know, we can kind of show you where that is on the plant, where 28 feet is, and then based on the response from the commission, um, I can memorialize that in a plan that can then be, you know, the, the limit of work can be staked and monumented. And um, there are monuments out there that exist now. Uh, they're concrete monuments. From what we could tell, there's a few of them out there. Uh, those will likely be able to be reused and reset, uh, dug up and reset in, in a new location. Uh, I think the location that we're talking about, about 28 feet off the back of the house, would be approximately 40 feet off of the wetland, uh, the, the, the buffer zone to the bank um, of the intermittent stream. So I can, if it's okay with the commission, I'll just scratch on this plan what we, what, what missed, um, I don't know how I see your last name. Nice thing, Gary. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, you come, Joseph. <laughs> okay. What Joseph had suggested. Just for the record, if you yeah. want to introduce yourself. Oh, my name is Joseph Garoya. Yeah. Okay, so during the site visit, uh, we looked at some, there was some existing uh, piers for the foundation, uh, existing piers for the deck that got removed. Um, those were approximately 18 feet off the, off the back of the house. So I'll draw that in quick. Um, I would like to replace that deck and then off of the back of the house, uh, 28 feet would bring us to where Joseph would like to have the limit of work. That is also consistent, pretty consistent with the back of the, um, the pool area where the slope comes down and, um, and then kind of wrap up to the existing fence that was over here, correct? Kind of tie into the limit of work. Correct. I think that would be a reasonable, more reasonable request so if we did like that, right? Back to the limit. That was the limit, original limit of work. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'll just throw this dimension on here, and if it's okay, I can either pass this on. Or... Sorry for the lack of authority. Is the pre previous limit of work line on there, too? Yeah. Uh, the previous yes. monuments yeah, the, are the, on the, 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 yeah, the white, white, the white, little white. The white squares or something? Yeah. yeah. So these white boxes, or squares, are the monuments okay so we actually found that one where um, we were just kind of bent over if that was the one I was looking at just kicking and trying to clean um, so this would be 28 feet 28 feet from the back of the house we put in here so as he was kind of mentioning approximately 10 feet beyond the work of work that he had which give him a little bit more wiggle room beyond the deck so the deck you can kind of see the old deck um, that I measured that at 18 feet, so this would be the, the edge of the deck. And then he would have approximately another 10 feet here, and this would be the new limit of work, so we'd be bumping these out this distance. I think. And again, this is this is that fence that you saw, the chicken wire fence at the toe of the mm -hmm. slope behind the pool. So if we just carried that across, that would be a little bit adjust that back. So the most we would be adjusting would be approximately 10. Yeah, what is that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And the limit of work we enough. thought at the site visit was 50 feet? Yes, yes. From riverfront. So this yeah. would be allowing an additional additional 10 feet. Okay, what, what's that? That's right now. Uh, it's about 45 feet. My guess is when they originally delineated it, and put the monuments in, the wetland might have been a little, a little bit different. We might have delineated a little bit more conservatively, so we're, but arguably, I think the goal was to put it at the 50 foot, because it's, or maybe it was 45, but it's approximately 45 from there. 
I went to about 45 consistently. Mm -hmm. look at it. Yeah, it's, we're all at about 45 feet. So this would bring it to 35. Uh, it would bring it to, yeah, these will, this would bring it to, yeah, it's about eight. Each one varies a little, but let's call that um, seven feet. Seven feet there, so, so approximately seven, seven feet here, here, and then this one, which is is not new impact, and we kind of talked about that mm -hmm. at the um, so it's about fifteen feet beyond the original limit of work, but we had discussed that this area would be call it um, this would be this hatched area would be no new impact because all they want to be able to do is safely. Yeah. And that would give you just roughly at the kind of the closer point here, just to be correct. It's about 40 feet. So, it, except for this area, which has already been developed, it would be giving an additional seven feet at most. That's accurate. Yeah. And then he would be tiny. The idea would be we could put monuments. So we would basically have monuments. You know, we know where the fence is. You know, bring that one out, bring this one out, bring this one out, and then probably put another one put it right there. And then we'd be just on the cover using mark these. Mm -hmm. And so the limit of work would stay as already delineated. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. this is the driveway here. Yeah. Was there a building or something? No, this is a pile. I think that's the pile. Oh. And that's the dirt pile. Okay. okay. So, so as part of what we're, we were talking about was how how do we handle what's already been disturbed? So I know that we have some plant things proposed. Which is, they understand. There's also a little bit of there's some stockpiled logs here. Mm -hmm. There's a pile of, of, of material. So we'd like to be able to get the logs out. And then there was some discussion about the stumps. Some of the stumps that were cut close to the resource area. And there are some that are a little bit farther out that maybe wouldn't be so impactful if you were to take those out. They're a little bit closer to the back area. Um, but that's you know, a discussion point. I don't know, we, we talked about potentially a distance, you know, if, if you know, he was able to take stumps out within a, with, you, know, you know, if it's within 35 feet or these 30 feet or so. No, these, these are the new plantings. Underneath the half town, okay. stumps these, were up here, so these are all that we located all the stumps. Yeah, so there's like a you know a maple. So you know as you get closer in here, I don't think we want to be messing around with these, but there are some you know some big pine stumps out here. So maybe just looking at this, and this is obviously discretionary, but um, you know 20 feet keeps us away from most of those stumps. 30, 30 feet would allow them to take some of the outer. Uh, stumps only. So 30 feet from is about here. So maybe 25 feet would allow them to get these outer stumps. Mm -hmm. Yep. There were three of them, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think that's what you were looking yeah, 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 at here. Yeah. So that, that just so you're for reference point, that's about 25 feet from the wetland would allow them to get in there. And get there. Okay. Um, I, I my glasses on, so I can actually see. Huh. Thank you. <laughs> Well, um, I must have missed you guys by like 10 minutes. I was there at 10 minutes to 5. I saw one off. I had to leave. So, unfortunately, I didn't get to look at this. Um, so, what do you guys think? Basically, um, as we discussed at the previous meeting, uh, one of the concerns we have to be concerned about is that whole subdivision was all had the same uh, basic setback from the riverfront area. So um, I can see maybe the small extension there uh, allowing that because we're only talking about seven feet. The pool area has already 
been there. Okay. Has already violated it way back when. Right. Um, 2001 or something, right? Yes. And um, I don't. <laughs> I don't think by extending the limit of work line seven feet we're encroaching that much, but I wouldn't go beyond that because I think we do need to maintain some integrity for that whole subdivision and the other uh, homeowners because we don't want to start a stampede. Well, I want to extend my backyard right. too, and you know. Well, and we are requiring a restoration here. That's, yes, that's going to be costly for the homeowner, so. Okay. That's an enough a, de a deterrent from any other yeah. homeowners in that subdivision from thinking, oh, hey, we'll just do it first and then worry about it after since they will change the limit of work. I, guess. I don't know that that's going to yeah. be the case. Yeah. But, uh, but based upon our visit and, you know, the, the proposed, what uh, Rob has laid out, I would be uh, tend to go along with that. So, a little help, Connie. Are, are we vote? What are we voting on? To just are we talking about the restoration right now, or are we just talking about we're talk extending the limit? What are we doing? We're talking about extending the limit of work line, okay. or adjusting the limit of work line back from what was originally set right. when the subdivision was created. Um, I think that would be uh, one point. I don't know if we need to break this down point by point or just do the whole. Yeah, I think there's a, the adjustment of the limit of work line. I think they want to know what they can restart removing and, and at this point, you know, removing the logs, possibly removing stumps, and then there would be the discussion of what sort of restoration trees and how many and where they are and, and but as far as what we mostly discussed at the site visit and what Jeff is talking about now I think I also feel comfortable with with, that. with the line that's been drawn on this map where the limit of work is not changing on this is this the west side of the property? I don't know if this is the west side of the property. But it's altering the limit of work line slightly up to seven feet at the rear of the house and to also adjust it a little further as it's already been developed in the pool area. Um, I would be comfortable with that and I would be comfortable with removing any stumps farther than 25 feet or farther than 25 feet from riverfront and leaving stumps that are closer than 25 feet riverfront and then also some sort of restoration of what we're going to plant now in that area. Yeah, I feel the same way. Okay. I mean, I don't think at the last, when we discussed this, we didn't really hear specifically yet about what your plantings are planned. I believe we have a planting plan proposed, but um, it might it, you know, might make sense to do this as a multi-step process um, because oftentimes on a restoration, when we're leaving the stumps, we'll plant, we'll choose to plant something somewhere. And if we're leaving the stumps, you you'll have a root system or you can't plant where we're thinking. So if it was okay with the commission, what I would recommend is um, if we could do it, maybe a two-step process where I could, I could memorialize what I've sketched in a plan, provide that to uh, the, plant, uh, the conservation office. Um, I don't know what, I'm sorry for that technical term, but you guys are dual purpose. So, um, so get that to them uh, and to you prior to the next meeting. Um, that would be a stamp drawing, and then the restoration. I think if it made sense, um, we could we could kind of either now or at a subs at that next meeting, maybe at the next meeting, discuss a quantity of plants um, that you felt was reasonable, and then based on that choose the locations in the field maybe do one of the more quick savings that because that way you're getting what you expect and i gotta tell you I, I don't know how many times we put restoration plants together and you get out there and right where i put it is you know right over a root system you know and we don't want to be digging up we don't want to be ruining more right. to to uh, plant more right doing it. yeah so you want to put the monuments in and how about including removing 
the law would be existing that would, law. That we would definitely request Clean that for area, safety. For, yeah, the kids. Put, place yeah. the monuments and come back to us. That would and be. So, well, so then what I think we should probably do is continue this till the July twenty or till the July tenth meeting. Uh, pending, 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 you know, giving Rob a chance to memorialize this, come back with a new with a drawing, drawing, yeah. and. Um, um, I would, uh, because we do have the enforcement order in effect, but I would be willing to, uh, you know, depending on what the rest of you say, uh, allow them to go in and remove the logs, any large stone. There are several very large stones out there that can't be removed by hand just to kind of mm -hmm. get the area you know, mm -hmm. cleared up. Clear up. Yeah. That'd be great. And, um, if you're com if you're comfortable with the adjustment to the limit of work, we could have that laid out, if you'd like before, or or if you'd prefer to wait till the, the the memorialized plan comes in. Either way, but if you would like us to handle that ahead of time, then we can go out. You'll see, you know, subsequent to the next or after the next meeting, we would go. We could go out. You'd see the monuments out there, so that we're all on the same page, and then. We could bring stakes and put stakes in in locations of, of plantings that made sense. Right. <clears throat> I think um, probably what would help too for the other members who aren't here, um, and for all of us, if maybe you could just stake where, based upon the new memorialization, where the proposed new markers would would yeah. be put, or or even move them. Or, we could even or move them. them by or, that. Yeah. If right. if that's not premature. Yeah. Well, should we move them before we've approved? I don't think we should move them. Probably not. We could we could just stake them. I would I would just say put you know stakes that are relatively visible. Yep. So that you know other board members can go out and look at it. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And then we can get a better visual. And maybe put um, you know stakes where the existing markers are, are you know are and where not where they but where we're going to move were, them to. Yeah. And um, just to give more of a, a line of sight. Absolutely. So that would be a, a big help. Okay. <clears throat> Do you want to recap that? <laughs> Jeff. Okay. Recap that. <laughs> sure. Um, by the meeting, the next meeting, July, July 10th. Uh, okay. Um, by the next meeting, um, our Levesque, uh associates will uh, present a, a new plan with the uh, proposed changes and we'll stake the uh, proposed new limit of work markers do I hear Did, is, is there anything else I missed uh, yeah, to allow them to clean up uh, the oh, logs to Mm -hmm. To clean out the uh, yeah, and debris that's debris. already there, and, yeah. and they're allowed to, to remove uh, large stones and, and rocks and so or uh, logs. logs that are hindering. Uh, I think it's important to note because we have been getting intermittent rain events. I think it's important to note that the we want those removed without without damaging as much of the vegetation, you know, as little vegetation as yeah. possible because it has revegetated pretty yeah. nicely. Yeah. Yeah. So if you can get try to get in there surgically, get those logs out of there. We know there's going to be some disturbance, but ideally we get those out of there without creating too much disturbance to the ground plane because that's the biggest thing that we're trying yeah. to avoid. Boy, yeah. Somebody goes in there and starts moving around with a skid steer, it could get a little messy. Okay. That's all. So you are, it would be okay to remove the stumps that are greater than 25 feet from the riverfront? Do you want to stipulate? Yes, yeah, stumps that are greater than 25 feet from the riverfront can be removed. Do we want to approve that now? Oh, or well, we, we probably we... We'll probably wait till the next meeting. Yeah, then then what we could do yeah. is we could literally paint the stump yeah, right. to be removed, yeah. and then there's no question. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So for now, it's just clean up and put the monuments for stake. Yeah. But you can clean out the logs and the stumps. Yep. They're just the stone, large stones, stones. not stumps. Because there are some pretty ginormous yeah. stones that are just okay. sitting there. <laughs> Cannot be moved by hand. <laughs> uh, 
Maybe I should ask a question. So, um, um, uh, removing the logs and uh, the stones, I should have done that before the next meeting. Uh, just because the person that I work with is also working at the job, so I have to, you know what I mean, I have to kind of work around their schedule also if they have committed to other jobs. Uh, but um, is it the requirement that it they should be moved before the next meeting or? No, I'm just saying that no, you, 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 permission. You, okay. you, you have permission to, to remove that remove now. It. Okay, all right, thank you, yes. But we will have this it staked out so that you could look at it prior to the next yes. meeting and make sure that the plan is in place. Yeah. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll, we'll probably list the recommended quantity on the plan that can be adjusted during the meeting if you deem that it's not enough. And then my recommendation would be to kind of pick some spots that you want to see, mm -hmm. you know, plan things in. And we noticed all, that the uh, wattles are in place out there to prevent any further. Yeah. Yes. So. That's, that's a good thing. Great. Can I steal that? Yeah, I was going to ask. So, Rob will send emailing. You're ready to go out and take another look. Okay? Sure. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And I'll probably email the plan ahead of time. So, if you guys want to go out and take a look, you could. Okay, that would be great. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Rob. That's it. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great 4th of July. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. We need a motion. Yeah, we need a motion, right? So, I make a motion that we uh, continue the enforcement order of uh, 101 Old Farm Road, aka Lot 26, uh, to the July 10th meeting. So, the conservation so moved. Second. Second. Two seconds. Two seconds. No, <laughs> I, I made Tony it. Tony and, and, and Rob, four zero. Right. All in favor? Yes. Aye. Yes. Aye. 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 All right. What's next? Um, so number five is the enforcement order, order 202 Old Farm Road, a.k.a. left 26. Parcel ID is 423826 for violation by David Murphy of Western Mass Tree Care, P.O. Box 81001, Springfield, Mass. 01138 for the removal of trees adjacent to an inner stream on a site located near a vernal pool prairie protection habitat. Um, Continue from the May 8th, 2019, and the May 22nd, 2019, and the June 12th, 2019. So I noticed that there were some correspondence going back and forth. Did you guys yes. read them? Yes. Um, and yeah, basically, we had. Uh, requested uh, that the town legal council give us some guidance on uh, kind of the back and forth between the uh, tree contractor and the homeowner mm -hmm. um, and that has not been forthcoming so um, well yeah. if, I, if I may um, so town council is not going to provide the town's attorney is not going to provide, is not going to react to something that hasn't been presented. You've been provided with information that has been given to us by MACC as far as how you are to proceed. It is also based upon our particular bylaw that was provided to you on May 1st. Right. So um, your job at this point is if you would like to pursue the matter of ticketing is to petition the town manager and the town's attorney that you want to ticket for the violation. In my email to you, uh, the email exchange on Tuesday, June 25th, there was an attachment, there was a sample of the ticket used by the town of North Andover. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. a chance to take a look at that. So that's what you probably yep. want to Everybody consider here. filling in tonight, or at least drafting this evening, and then we can move forward in regard to uh, 
uh, fining for the violation that occurred. Um, yeah, can I look at this? Because mm -hmm. Sure, absolutely. <clears throat> I think there was a little bit of maybe confusion as to why we wanted to to ask for an opinion from the town attorney. At least that's my take on it. Mm -hmm. um, that um, so I think that's part of it. And um, whether we were looking for guidance versus um, versus. I don't know. I guess there, I, I kind of had a f few different um, ideas as to why, when I'm remembering back that meeting, as to why we, we kind of, we never sort of defined why we were going to, we just kind of stopped and said, well, let's ask for town council to, or let's ask yeah. for a, a, the, the town attorney to weigh in on this. So I think we never sort of defined exactly what we wanted them to weigh in on. And I think that's where the confusion maybe mm -hmm. lies with that. I mean, as for ticketing, I'm not really, a, I'm, it's in my opinion, I'm not interested in ticketing the tree man. But at the last meeting, well, I did want to wait until we, I didn't want to, wanted to hear everything and for us to decide on everything before deciding that. I mean, if, if I read what, Connie had sent us, we as a board have authority to find, I think it was $300 per day. per day for the violation. I guess the commissioners or, you know, conservation can do that. Um, but are we looking to just do the vendor or are we looking to do the homeowner? Right. I mean, there's. Well, I, th I think you're looking at uh, a twofold. And I, I, because you have two two enforcement orders, so you'd have to act on each enforcement order on itself. Right. Instead of combining them. You take a look at the petition and see what the petition discuss the petition see what that says Let's see if that helps you do you want to read it out loud or? yeah can someone i don't have my glasses yeah, yeah, do we have the petition yeah. uh, i think you did you just pass it over no we have the, the representative. Have, you have a template. You have a, a oh, this, what another community uses. You'd have oh, to tailor oh, yeah, it yeah, to yeah, yeah. student this, long middle, but it gives you guidelines if you will, yeah. on how to how to craft it. Mm -hmm. So that is a that's a that's a um, citation to give uh, that the town of North Andover uses. So our town has not adopted any sort of form. Form, not that we. But we no. under yeah. under mass general, mass general law. law, we are allowed to. to yes, right. we don't have to have a town no. bylaw no. or. No. Well, you, you do have a town bylaw. Uh, you have under under conservation, conservation commission section ten point zero one zero conservation commission ten point zero one two further describing your purpose, et cetera. Under, it's under K, enforcement. After notice to the landowner, the commission, its agents, officers, and employees shall have the authority to enter upon privately owned land for the purpose of performing their duties under this bylaw and may make or cause to be made such examination, surveys, or sampling as the commission deems necessary. We've done that. Any person who violates any provision of this bylaw or any conditions of a permit issued pursuant to it shall be punished by a fine of not more than $300. Each day or portion thereof during which a violation continues shall constitute a separate offense, so $300 per day. Okay. 
if the town of East Long Meadow has adopted a comprehensive ticketing program based on Mass General Law Chapter 40, Section 21D, the Commission shall adopt such a program through its regulations. If such a program has not been adopted, the Commission may therefore elect to enforce this bylaw pursuant to Mass General Law Chapter 40, Section 21D, and the Chairman of the Commission or the Town Conservation Enforcement Officer, if one has been appointed, may enforce this by bylaw under the provisions of that section. Now what you say, upon petition of the Commission, the town manager and the town attorney may take such legal action as may be necessary to enforce this bylaw and permits issued pursuant to it. So that's the next step that you would have to take. You have to submit the petition. We don't have a form, I checked, which is why I consulted oh, MACC <coughs> and they gave us that one. So you just follow um, their guidelines, if you will, and craft your own petition so and, and this would be the time that you discuss how you what you want to say the draft form so that we could prepare that for you and then send it to you for your review via email and then you would give us the okay and then one member would come in and sign okay just to save you the time of having to come in all of you Um, I think part of the purpose of the commission is to uh, enforce the Wetlands Protection Act, uh, regardless of what the circumstances are, of, you know, what, what transpired, um, and that's you know, that's, that's my opinion, and, and I'm, uh, I'm of the mind to uh, put forth the petition. Uh, I basically, all I can say is I know of one day that the cutting was done. More than that, I don't know. So I would be in favor of petitioning for uh, a minimum fine of $300 for that one day of, of cutting. How about the whole one? That's a separate, like I said, each of these enforcement issues is taken on its own. It's a, it's a separate issue. The way I see it, I mean, yeah. it, no, it, no, it's no, a, that's, you that's, each have your own opinion. what we're talking about, so we all need to express our feelings on that. So why didn't we discuss this in the previous, or are we going to discuss it in future for the previous, previous. number four on our agenda, the enforcement order for, for the homeowner? Home well, that's, that's still in play because it was continued till tonight, okay. and we have now continued it till the next meeting. So that can be brought up again at the next meeting as part of that. Um, okay. Anybody else have any comments on? Well, we've heard, I mean, we had quite a discussion at the last meeting about this, and we've heard from both the homeowner and um, the company and we've heard differing views. I think um, I think we still don't know exactly what transpired since we're, we're hearing different views. I think I think I believe yes, there's one day where the cutting was happening and then there was a second day where work was being done but no cutting. So what I the, the, it was just removal. The second day was just removing the logs, and so basically. And so at the time that we issued the enforcement order, we just knew something was happening on the second day. So that's why the enforcement order was yeah. issued, yeah. because we didn't know if it was specifically cutting more, but yeah. we had to stop whatever yeah. was happening. Um, so I would agree with Jeff that there's really only one day that we know of um, any cutting occurring. But I, I we've never 
done this before, correct? This never. Not since well, I've, been, I've been on board. Um, and I mean, I agree with what Jeff is saying. That I think we do have an obligation to do what we're here to do. I mean, basically, that's what we're here for. Exactly. Um, Re regardless of what has transpired in the past, mm -hmm. I, I think it, it's basically our obligation is to enforce the Wetlands Protection Act. And the, the town bylaw also, uh, through the conservation bylaw, gives us the authority to, to do this. So, and I've only been on the commission for a little more than a year, and we haven't had many enforcement orders. Have we had enforcement orders in previous years? Um, well. That potentially could have been situations similar to this where you would ticket? Not that I recall to this yeah. extent. Okay. Well, I wasn't there, so I don't know. Right, you, just, and, right. you and I are both. It's, but no, I mean, I, not to this extent. <laughs> So, um, do do we want to make a motion? This I make a motion that we we forward this to the town manager for um, to take further action. So moved. So, can I can we discuss still? Sure. Oh. So, yes. forward it to town manager for her to do what? What would she impose her own fine or not impose a fine or no. just no. so she can act upon it? Yes, so you would petition the town manager to in implement the enforcement action, which would be the fine, the penalty, the, for the, the penalty for violating the Wetlands Protection Act. Mm -hmm. Using that, using that as a guide, as using a guide. This format, and then mm -hmm. she in turn, along with the town attorney, and then they would react. They would then respond. I, I, right. And so respond we, to your petition. We wouldn't decide the fine. She would decide the fine, or we would suggest the fine. You may stipulate the fine, the number, the duration of the number of days, and if, as you said, you want a one-day fine. Well, I mean, I. I I don't yeah. put words into your mouth, no, but no, the but, suggestion. But I can only validate me personally having gone out there, having seen the cutting done on one day. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to find somebody for something I didn't see. Mm -hmm. So the, on the motion, it would be a one day fine. Right. $300. Right. I don't know if I feel comfortable with Nobody feels comfortable with it, but. I, I know. I just know that at the last meeting we did have some heated discussion about. I know we did. Yeah. About mm -hmm. with we differing opinions. That that you know how are we going to. I I would feel comfortable. Sending this to town manager, but I'm not comfortable with three hundred dollars. I think there's. That's just my opinion. Other people may disagree with me, but. But we still have to vote on it. So. Right. Right. I mean, if do you have a different amount in mind? Do they, is there any, is there stipulations on that for like first offense, second offense? No. Is there any way to no. quantify how much you would find? Yeah, well the, the way our bylaws written by is $300, of not more than $300. Not more than, per day. Per day. So she could, she could adjust that as long as it take over $300, correct? Well, she would be looking for guidance from the conservation. Right, she'd be right. looking she for what we're, what we're asking. Mm -hmm. So if you have a, a, an alternate figure in mind, you know, feel free to. Or we could just, whatever amount she sees fit, as long as it doesn't exceed to, under the bylaw, $300. Well, I think, I I think, think it's, for first I, think, I think we ought to. I think it's the Conservation yeah. Commission's we ought to duty to, come up to say the what the, the number would be. Yeah. So, 
going forward, if we if we do this, then are we going to feel obligated that every single enforcement order we have to issue a ticket, or do we what do we use as our criteria? Criteria for well, basically, it's it's like it was discussed at the last meeting. Each. Each occurrence is based upon the what's relevant at that time. You can't say there's a general, you know, because they're you don't right. know what they're the all different. They're all different. You don't know what the severity is going to be. Right. May I see that? Just may I just see that? So, in looking at this notice of violation of the wetland bylaw that our, our um, that has been provided as an example, they do not have a number filled in. There is it says the fine for this non-criminal offense is blank, and so it appears that this community elects to impose whatever fine they see fit. Otherwise, it would say three hundred dollars or whatever. So that doesn't help you much, but it also doesn't hurt you much knowing that you can. But as, as a commission, we would have to sort of decide how we want to quantify differing amounts is based on the severity of the infraction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at, at, yeah. at the whatever is occurring at that time. I mean, you can't just put a general number out there because you, you don't know, different. everything's different. You don't know mm -hmm. what, what's happening at, at what time. You know, somebody could dam up a stream, who knows? Yeah. Or somebody could, you know, it's. But, but as a commission going forward, not specifically to this situation, mm -hmm. if this is something we're gonna start doing, we might want to have some sort of discussion as to what type of violations would be this range of fines? What types of violations would be this range of fines? Then we're going to have to change the bylaw. Well, that's for, that's for third party review. Yeah, right. No, the, the bylaw says oh, yeah. that right. you can right. fine up to not more than $300 a day. Right. That's what it's telling you. That's the guideline. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's up to us to decide if we're going to set, set a fine, and if so, how much? And if we're yeah. not going to? And if you're not going to, then you're not going to. I'm trying to find another um, source. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to see what other communities might impose for fines. So I just think it would be a good idea in 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 order to appear fair and equitable in deciding issues in this town that not specific to this situation, but if, we, if, if this is something we're going to do, then the commission might want to have some sort of discussion outside of this specific situation as to what sorts of um, enforcement orders or violations will, will we tend to find or not tend to find, or, um, or maybe have some general rules to go by, so that we're not accused of randomly no, I, I understand imposing no, fines. I agree with it. I yeah. agree with it. Like I said, it's it's it's. You know, I've been on for all that long myself, but we've never done this. We have before us other homeowners that have made some. You know, pretty severe, and we've never really even gone after them. And I know that we're talking about this homeowner too. Um, and the, the, the company exactly. has told us that they did ask for permits, and that mm -hmm. they were told that they the permits. So it it's, it's not so much as a blatant. You know, yes, I did something. I knew I was doing it wrong. Hmm. You know, which is some of the back and forth that we saw in previous meetings. Right. Um, I, you know, 
My feeling is this. You are considered to be a professional. And I think all tree companies are or should be aware of the rules and regulations working around a wetland. If I were you and I went to that job site and the homeowner said to me, I want this tree, that tree, and that tree cut, one was right in the river, I would have just said, permit or no permit, I'm not doing this job because it's illegal. That's how I feel about it. Or ask to see the permit. Because, you know, if you knew the rules and regulations in the state, chances are there would have been no permit issue, but like Mary Ellen said, right. ask for a permit. But even if I, I still wouldn't have started that job. Well, I think the, the key here is, you know, seeing something right. in writing is right. <laughs> always going to. Yeah. Did anyone bring their MACC handbook? I did not. No, 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 I did not either. It teaches me a lesson because always Craig has it. <laughs> mm. um, we have another option that we can continue this. Uh, I, I, but I, I kind of like to not. I'd like to wrap it up. I know. Keep I don't this gentleman's time. Yeah. Um, I'm not comfortable with $300, especially starting this for the first time. I, I mean, am I comfortable with issuing a ticket of some sort? Sure, if this is a, a new sort of protocol and procedure that we're gonna we're gonna start to implement from here on out. And, and on a case-by-case -case basis, based on severity, decide what what fine we would suggest that the town manager follow through with. Um, but I, you know, don't want to start this, you know, guns blazing, you know, yeah. at the. Well, that, that's why I asked. What do you have a figure I in mean, mind? I mean, I'm. I would leave it up to Denise. Well, I, th I no, think we Denise have, is going to. We have to give. We, can't do we have to give. No. Our, and and it's, Denise it's our doesn't know to, the severity to, of the infraction. Right. We know that. How about then that we, for the first offense, hundred dollars? I, I would like to be, uh, I don't know, I'm make a motion that, that we discuss this further and, and, and gather some more information before we just start throwing a figure out. I, I, I would also agree with that. Not that I want to... Pending more discussion. I don't want, you know... No, take your time. <laughs> and, and I, do, well, I, I want to be respectful you. of your time, too. I appreciate too. that, too. I, I agree with you, and I think as a commission, we maybe should discuss types of infractions and, you know, fines that may line up with types of infractions and come up with some sort of severity scale and and... Because I, I do feel like you're just grasping and thinking, well, what is this? I mean, clearly the violation is going to cost well more than $300 to, to fix, yes. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I just, it makes me a little. And I also would like, you know, a, a larger board presence to have board. input Let's on have, this. Yeah. Well, so. then let me do this. Let's. Uh, well, I made a motion, and we can to send this to the town. Uh, we can vote that down, and then make another motion to continue. So, someone want to? If, if I may, you can retract your motion. Okay. Well, then I retract my motion then. Okay. <laughs> to send it to the town manager. Okay. You have to vote. So moved. All those in favor. Second. Aye. Second. Hi. Hi. <laughs> All right. Tony, it goes. I make a motion and there's second, and then you vote. Not so moved. Because <laughs> the motion is the motion. Unless you're entertaining a motion, right? And yeah. then it has right. to yeah. be yeah. so. Yeah. 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 That's the chair. <laughs> so then I'll make another motion that we continue this until the July 10th meeting when we can further discuss the matter amongst the commission members. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right.
right, so why don't you have staff send out an email to see who is imposing fines and what their fine schedule might be. And can we put it on an agenda item in the future yeah. for us to discuss the idea yeah. of yep. yes. fines and ticketing and maybe come up with some yeah some guidelines and yes general discussion. All right. Now, do you want to do that yourself, or do you want staff to work on that? What would you like? Because we have the resources to, and in fact, I'm speaking with the Bridgewater Concert uh, Planning and Community Development Director tomorrow about a position that she has just created for an environmental planner. So I have a lot of questions to ask her. Yeah, I mean, any help? Hey. Right, if, if you yeah. might have some examples Certainly. or yeah. things that you can do then, then we can discuss at the meeting. broad enough so that you have information to work from. Uh -huh. Probably going to go outside of this immediate area. Are you yeah. okay yeah. with that? Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. No. Okay. Perfect. All right. Okay. So we will work. I'm good. Two, two weeks? Yes. Thank All you, right. Mr. Murphy. <laughs> Appreciate uh, your yeah. time. Right. Okay. Um, project monitoring is 53 Tanglewood Drive. Um, was it just you, Mary Ellen, that went? I went. I did oh. fill out a site visit form. Do you want we would love it. that? I do have more pictures, but as I said, I was getting error messages every time I tried to, every time I tried to um, send them, it bounced back to me, and I didn't know if it went through or if it didn't, but I did go out on, was it Friday? Uh -huh. Friday morning, um, and... Uh, took some pictures. Um, most of the fill that was there previous had been scraped away. And so there's a couple pictures that I think I finally got through, but I did take more. Um, and there was very minimal debris. So did I find a couple pieces of plastic? Yes. But is it any more than you might find on someone else's lawn? Maybe not. So there was a few little pieces of plastic here and there. It was very little in the way of, um, you know, gravel or asphalt or anything like that. There were some rocks that were mixed in, some small um, gravel. It was mostly soil, um, and it had been scraped back to the point where you could see prior root, woody roots. So that was evident that that was probably a previous, that that was stuff that was there previous to any fill being brought in. The gradient looked pretty good. It, it was sloping down. And so I think we just wanted someone to go and take a look before giving permission to spread topsoil, topsoil loam seed to, for them to move on with the project. Mm -hmm. So. Excellent. Good report. The question I have, when we did our original site visit out there, um, did we say, I was under the impression when we said that the bottom three stones, and then it would be graduated back. The wall. Oh, the number wall. of the, the number yeah. of retaining wall sections. Well, yeah. yeah, I Because didn't... I think only two have been removed, according well, to the way it looks. And the way, well, who's the environmental consultant on this? Kate. 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 Okay. So, and I remember Kate saying that she was going to stair step it. Right. But it's. I don't think it's stair step. No, it's it's I think just one piece has to come up. It it what happened uh, because I was out there previous to you being out there and the the last two sections were removed completely mm -hmm. but it it was only back um, what are those stones five and a half feet 12 feet huh 12 feet 12 feet yeah so that's a can I speak or yeah come on yeah up. sure come on, come on up. Come. just introduce yourself Adriana Bocchino, I live at 52 Tanglewood Drive. Yeah, thanks. So, how, you how are you? Good. Yeah, so I moved 12 feet, that's what we talked about in a previous meeting. Mm -hmm. And if you guys went to a site visit, you can see one, like, actually it's even more than 12 because the block is still there, but 
the door is like lower than maybe two feet low, lower. Oh, sorry. So maybe it is, is it stair stepped? So if you wanna guys wanna look some pictures, I got plenty of pictures mm -hmm. and you know I, I went even lower than uh than what do what do we propose, you know? Mm -hmm. How many pictures do you have? Oh, millions. <laughs> I was wondering if maybe we should email. Yeah. Can um. We well, can show you some of them if you guys want. So on this one, now. it doesn't. It's not stair them. stepped. Can you can you email them? Uh, sure. If we gave you an address. Sure. So right. So there's. Yeah, it just was straight off, and I thought it was the bottom three, and then. The next one up, and then the the other one, and it, to to make the slope more gradual. Um, yeah, there's another one. So it's it's not stair stepped. Yeah. Yeah. See, yeah. if you wanna wanna go take a peek at this one. So I didn't make this because. I see, I took two out, and you still have glasses. Yeah, you can see, see one is like that's the. The level of the door. I took two out of the other already. Mm -hmm. All right. Maybe if we can, um, we'll give you I can, I can send that to you guys. You know, yeah, so we can see it. Yeah. You see? Okay. Yeah, I took two out, and that's the other one. There. Yeah. That's yeah, the that's other. what I have. My, I have a picture yeah, of that. Yeah. Yes. There you go. Yeah, you have. See, that's. Yeah. Do you have all the same photos? Did so the, the two that you took out... They are completely out, all so the way to the bottom. was it one and then one beneath it, or was yes. it next yep. to each other? No, four, one on top, one on the bottom. You know what I mean? Like complete four out. They were on top of each other? On top of each other. So yeah. what do you mean four? Straight up and so down. So straight up and down. So one, two, two three, two. and four. Okay, so two sections. Two sections yep. out okay. all the way through, yep. yes. So if he just took this... Jeff, are you referring to if he just took that top one off, that would be like stair stepping. It would, it would go. Is that a partial slope. one or is yeah, that a whole one? Yeah, that was the middle one that was on the end. That's what I put because it there. Because they're staggered. Yes, right. then I have a step there because mm -hmm. I don't think we need a step because the door stays there. So, so is that the one you want this well, section right here? So that's not a full section. It's no, like that's a half, half section. section. Yes. Yep. I mean it. It doesn't matter to me, okay. um, because the, but the I just there, so. but I thought when we were there we discussed that yeah. the you bottom go three back stones, three with the... and then you then it would be stair stepped. But um, yeah, see what we talked in the meeting it was so that like we were going point. back twelve yeah. feet for slope. But I mean, black was slope. You've still got the the, the proper grade, so it's, I'm I'm more concerned. Are, I'm I'm still. Right. more concerned about the grading than I am yep. about this, the, the wall because it, when I was out there it kind of went out and then yeah. yep. and to me that's just it's going to erode right. real fast right where it's a gradual like the original was mm -hmm. and then I thought we also discussed, uh, discussed um, the limit of work line being 25 to 30 feet from the silk fence or the edge of the wetland back. And then the plantings would be in front of that and then everything 25 to 30 foot beyond, uh, beyond that limit of work would be able to be the front yard or whatever. Right. Well, excuse me, so I thought that we were discussed that like at the end of the wall, I would set up a fence and that was my limit of work, right on the end of the wall. That's right. A, that's and, I thought that that's what we talk about. Be some native and, trees and on the back, other side, yes. and then you were going to do fruit trees. Fruit trees in front on, of us, where your, yes. lawn, where your lawn is going. Yes. Yes. I thought that's what we talk about. Yeah, but but what I was saying was the limit of work line where you could set your fence was going to be twenty-five to thirty feet back from the riverfront. Uh, uh, so that basically it's, you know, it, some of that sloped area is going to be. Yeah, because the bottom of the of the slope is like flat, 
at the bottom of the wall is almost flat. Yeah. So is that the pink flags? Are those the limited work line where the fence is going? Yeah, but that's that's way closer to that's. You think that's closer than? That's probably only like 15 feet. And we we I'm pretty sure we discussed that morning that it would be 25 to 30 feet away. Well, we should have that written down somewhere, right? Yeah. So that's. Yeah. Are we on the picture? We are 12 feet. Plan. You know, remove 12 feet of wall, and after everything is cleaned up, put a fence like on the end of the wall, and that's going to be the limit of work line. Because from the fence from, up from here to the south fence, that's only 12 feet, and these are much yeah, you got 15 feet yeah. pretty much to the to the wall to the fence. That's pretty much how much you have. Yeah. Well, so what have you? So did you spread the lawn? Yes, I did. Did you seed? Yes. Okay, so. When, and are these are these stakes still up? Yes. The pink stakes? Yes, I got some erosion control down on top of the loom on the bottom. So if you guys want to take a peek, you're welcome. No, we yeah. could go back and yeah, maybe yeah, take some measurements yeah, yeah. of how far those stakes are yeah, from, yeah. you know, yeah. we're supposed to be monitoring this as yeah, it's progressing. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. if we notice yeah, anything so that looks... When you came over there on Friday, the next day I removed even more door. Actually, I broke all the sprinkling system because, well, I didn't want to... Because we have a couple of sides, there's just a little piece of plastic. So I even went yeah, down so to the you, sand. So yeah. and I broke all the sprinkler system. So and you can see I had to refix the whole everything. And you can see the stumps, whatever they were there already. Right, you yeah. can see all the woody so, yeah. things that were there for years. Now you can see the whole stumps now. I went down as my, you know what I mean. I, know, I just want my yard back. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if you, I spread the loom because that's my my consultant told me. Mm -hmm. You okay to right. do it? Yeah, because we just wanted yeah, to make sure all the, out, yeah. all the yeah. plastic was off and it looked like because it was back to. Basically, Kate's supposed to be monitoring this progress and reporting back to us. I think she, I think she did, and this week, you know, she's uh, well, she does have just me, so mm -hmm. oh, you know yeah. what I mean. <laughs> she's a little busy, so she said she was gonna get to you guys as soon as possible. Yeah. But, uh, that's why I'm here, so you know. So we can uh, double check our, our um, the plan, the approved plan, and maybe go out and do a site visit. And well, that's, that's the thing. We never got a plan with the elevations. All we had was those pictures. But we approved a, yeah, the plan. a plan. We we approved a restoration plan. Yes. So right, in that right. in that approval, it, it, it should, it's, it, and it's there's should, pictures yeah. with things marked, yeah, and I think yeah. with things measured. Yeah, so yeah. we can double check yeah. that. Yeah. Go out and take a look, take some measurements, make mm -hmm. sure. But but those pink flags, I believe. Yes, it's all marked, it's all flagged, flag, everything. Where yeah. they want to put the fence. So okay. we could double check that, yeah. make sure. And I went to the town for us, if I need a permit for the fence, they, they say if it's after seven feet, yes. But if right. it's lower than seven, you don't need a permit. So as long as I'm uh, 10 feet away from uh, the street, mm -hmm. they give me some, I got all the information. So. Yeah. Right. So I'll put the grass as soon as you guys are okay, like I can plant so the, not the bushes. you're doing the fence. When are you planning on putting Well, I want you guys to come down yeah, we and, and just make we sure need to we're check, the, yeah. right. check that before, you know, I want, and after that, I want the grass grow like I can plant the trees and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like that the, the dirt is stabilized. Yeah. And when do we want to go up there, Saturday? Uh, well, I think we need to email everybody. Yeah, maybe so we can send there. an email out and see what everybody's availability is see, yeah. prior to the next meeting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, probably say as soon as possible. See if yeah. maybe we can do it. Right. Yeah, because early it, evening. Yeah. Like, the later I go, you know, it's hard to plant. You know what I mean? You know, it gets too hot for planting. So yeah. you know what I mean? It's, well, I think you're we're stuck now. Yeah. And, I mean, I I don't know. What anybody's availability is of maybe like, say I like, can do, or whatever. Like, I don't know what Tom or Craig's availability is the next couple of days. I mean, I could do Friday, no problem. Why don't you decide a time, and then we'll just shoot the email out. Yeah, I think Saturday would probably be better, wouldn't it? Or no, Saturday morning, ten o'clock. No, well, I don't know what everybody's got planned yeah, for yeah, the so weekend. Now it's. It, I, could do, I could do Friday. Friday. Yeah. I can do Friday. Let's see. Let's see what we can come up with Friday. Let's let's say 
515, 530. Perfect. Right. It's quick. I know it works till at least 5. Yeah. So 530 then? And can somebody try to locate the approved plan? We should have that in the file. Isn't it? I'm sure it's in my yeah, email I somewhere. I got a name. Do you want a paper plan? Is that what you're asking for? Or electronic. I know. Just I so just, we, just so we know just where those. Search yep. through a million emails yep. to just, try to find. We're trying to see if it's the twenty. Right. Twenty-five. Is yep. that what we said? Yep. Instead of. And I do yep. have the paper plan somewhere. Okay. 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 okay yeah. So we'll send the plan is an attachment. Does that yeah. sound yeah. like? Yeah. A good yeah. Idea? That sounds like a good idea. All righty. Um, other business review comments. Okay. Thank you, guys. Have yeah, a nice Fourth of July. Thank yeah. you very much. You too. Review and comments for planning board from the Conservation Commission. You guys, you're all set with the Pueblo Vista. Do you have anything else to add, Mr. Pueblo uh, Valley? I, I don't believe so. I think at the last meeting we said. He doesn't have to yeah. really come. Right. No, basically, we know what he's going to do with right. the uh, the wood chips in that area. So, um, just if I may, while we're still on Adriano's, just for a point of comment, um, I went back and I, I printed out some pictures these are that house in 2012 and based upon these um, this is the side and that's the old fence that goes along the river and this is the side of the house and based upon these photographs that was straight land that went right all the way through so somebody dug out, you think? It, it, and yeah. that was 2012. Excavated. And I sent, wow. I sent a follow-up letter to, oh. or an email to Kevin Duquette, asking him to research building permits between 2012 and 2018 for an eight-foot sliding glass door to be installed in the basement of this house and the earth removed from the north side of the house for this purpose. This would be either the previous owner or the current owner. Please let me know for the Conservation Commission. His response was, there's a building permit from 1982 that mentions basement alterations, but does not mention specifically if it included the slider. There was a lot of work previously conducted without a permit at this property. Well, I, I know that when we started this process, and that there was, was things that Adriano had done, like new roof, new windows, or some, many things that the building department permitted after the fact. And, okay. I mean, even, Tony, I remember you bringing up the very first, was that slider even there? Yeah. I remember you saying that. So, but in, according to the land card, he purchased the house in 2015. Hmm. So, four years. Well, yeah, that, that area has definitely been altered as to when and who, and this is from 2012. Are, yeah. So, if, as of 2012, it was much more. It looked like the land just went straight flat. across there, flat, right? Right to the back. Right. So somebody wanted to maybe create a walkout basement. Yep. So they dug it all up. And then maybe had the water problem coming toward yeah, and then big, tried to solve that. Yeah. And that's how nature works. And I'm sure that the water problem was caused because all that earth was removed in yep. the wetlands. Oh yeah, because it was flat. It was just one right up. So. So I have everything from 5300. This is what you want, yes? Is this the one you want to see? Existing conditions and proposed mitigation. Revised 5690. Can I see, can I see that? Yeah. Right. I'm just gonna just throw those in the pile just for curiosity's sake. But 
see, this is too hard. That's why. What? She never did a hand render drawing. She just used no. The that's and is that's that what it, that's what Craig was saying. We we want an elevation and we want a rendered drawing showing us all. All we have is this color photo, which there's not. It's not a regular plan. Didn't we have something though that showed distances? There was. There were other ones. Um, okay. So proposed fence. I don't. There was, so this was the earlier. No, this is. There's some she the had that were much this closer. Conditions. This is the same one. This one has better clarity than that one. Yeah, this is kind of. I think Kate used mostly, if I recall, she didn't do uh, uh, ink. No, she just used photos, photos, right? And that's what Craig was saying. We, I want a regular drawing with elevations, mm -hmm. and and she, and she never has provided that. By elevations, you mean the topo? Yep. Okay. To show the gradient. You have every right to ask for additional materials. Well, it's been asked, but so she has been reluctant to provide it. So yeah, I think she said what she provided was. But, 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 she's, but the other side of the coin, which is she's wrong on, is that she's saying that this isn't riverfront. But this is riverfront, because there is a stream that runs through there. Yeah. And, and she's saying it's, it's exempt because it's not riverfront, but she's wrong. It is riverfront. So it says here, general notes, proposed fence shall not be located as shown, no closer than five feet from the border BVW, bordering vegetated wetland boundary in any location. It shall be located on the top of the slope in the front yard. The fence shall be located a minimum of six inches above the ground to allow for wildlife passage. The last two blocks of the easterly retaining wall will be removed. Okay, so that's 12 feet. Mm -hmm. um, so here, Post fence shall not be located as shown, no closer than five feet from the boundary. Minimum of six, um, six inches above. Yeah, it doesn't really say. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that we thought when we were out there that we mentioned 25 to 30 feet away from the wetland. So the proposed fence. That's probably what we say. Well, so that the fence would be that far away. The rest would be the restoration area. So that the fence would keep anybody from going into the restoration area. Mm -hmm. And he's proposing the fence be in line with the end of the wall, mm. which is only going to be 15 feet. 12 to 15 feet away from, and it's going to be right through the restoration area. That's mitigating the whole point of the restoration area. Right. So would you like to request yes, a let's... plan of lands showing? Mm. I know Craig or has told me that he's requested it from Kate, but let's make it official. Yeah. yeah. Let's send a letter request that we want to... Uh, Uh, what would you like us to do? How can we help? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll can, try to draft the, the letter. Yeah, because yeah, okay. it can be really simple, right? Just say, can we get something, you know, we want to know where that edge of that fence is going to be and how well, far. You just say it had to be on the top. The top of the slope is way far right. back, for, much further back than... Yeah, mm -hmm. than, that should be around here somewhere. ...than right? the edge of the wall. Yeah, that's true. Because basically, what you're trying to restore be right there, is yeah. all that. All right. I mean, they could always, re if they, I, I agree that the fence might look a little funny if it's going inside of where the wall is, if it's further in than the end of the wall, but they could always remove another section of the wall. Yeah, if they just remove that one um, or two sections back, then you wouldn't even see it. I mean, more so than. The fence is going to be the delineation between the native plantings and the lawn. Yes. And so it's not exact. It's not necessarily the fence we can, that's of utmost importance. It's really the that woman, delineation yeah. of where you're going to leave native stuff and not fertilizers and pesticides and all sorts of stuff like that. 
and then where are you going to put your lawn? Mm -hmm. Because, so it's not, the fence isn't a huge problem. It's, it's yeah. I agree, it's that sort of boundary um, between those and that, and where you place the fence is going to become that boundary. Mm -hmm. When you have a lawn mower, you're going to be, yeah. Yeah. you're going to have lawn up to the fence yeah. and then that's going to be your boundary yeah. where you're going to have, um, so yeah, I'd like a little bit of a clearer. Yeah. So you want to plane up? Plane our uh, drawing, yeah, yeah. okay? And do you Here. want an elevation nice. of the drawing of the wall? Because I know in the email she said that it's hard to give an elevation because those, um, the final placement is sometimes determined in the field. Now, what we do in plan planning board is we ask for an as-built drawing. How is it constructed? Mm -hmm. Because they do encounter issues in, in the field that causes the contractor to deviate from the original plan. Yeah, but that this, was approved. But, but this is this is a restoration of what was there and which the whole point of her being was to determine what the elevations right, were. What it was. Okay. What it was. And she's failed to provide that. So in your letter you also want an elevation drawing or to, you want a you want a topo. Yeah. Right? And do you want an elevation of the fence, uh, the wall, how it, or not? Do you not care? So you care more about the topography, right? I care more Would about you? the actual topography. The wall is kind of immaterial. Okay. It, it's just, uh, you know, I. they said it, at the original site visit, they would stair step it, and it's just, but to me. Yeah, it still accomplishes what we. Right. Work. You know, the, the, she, the she had said stair there, stepping right? it would be more for appearance it would right. look more in line with the slope of the land and it would look better that was actually if that one top stone that is shown in your picture was removed it would make it look right, like right. a nat more of a natural rather than just having this chopped off chopped off but you know right we don't care I, I'm not concerned about the wall I'm more concerned about getting a restoration of the of the land back. So you want a topo, you'd want a topo plan, yeah. right? You don't need, it, but that topo plan is also going to show you what the conditions are, right? The, mm -hmm. the conditions that are proposed, yeah. right? Okay, so uh, basically she should have provided that showing back to what the original conditions were and then the, the proposed uh, proposed restoration with the plantings. And basically all we have is all these aerial photos that she's... And you really should be looking for plans that are drawn, not just the, the, the yeah. Yeah. Google like photos. Yeah. It's really hard. You know, people try to use this all the time and they'll use a measurement based off the map and it's not always accurate. Uh, you know, you're, uh, you're using great tools but not perfect tools. So you, that makes the difference between five feet sometimes, right? You know, the critical dimensions that you really need for your work. You can ask for them. You have every, that, when Bethany and I went to the training at the MACC, we had plans that we were looking at, not photos, and that's mm -hmm. what MACC and tries to teach the commissioners to be on the lookout for, professionally drawn plans stamped by an engineer. Planning board wouldn't accept this. Well, I, I do remember Craig, or maybe it was you, Jeff, or somebody say, asking and saying. No, Craig was asked her like, numerous times for it, but. And I think the answer was. Because he's know, asked me if I've seen them. I said, no, I haven't seen anything. That it's just as good to look at this, and it yeah. takes too much time or something yeah. not necessarily needed. Well, you know, maybe she just doesn't have yeah, the rendering knows. skills. We can, In, we can ask again. Okay. Alrighty, policies and procedures. Oh, review and draft letter uh, by chair. We can't talk about that. Craig isn't here. Um, Did we do the Jeffrey Webster? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Craig was at the last meeting. Craig was going to draft a letter. So we don't know. Craig oh. not being here, we don't know what's going on with that. Have, um, have staff seen a letter from him? No, we no. haven't. Um, 
policies and procedures of the commission? Well, that's where we could. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Talk about this. Yeah. But, um, unless you want to wait till our other members are present and. I, I, I would like to I, I think we, we should. Yeah, um, but I mean, this is where we could discuss this. I mean, I, I, I know, and I, I, like I said, I indicated that I tend to agree with you. Um, I think we ought to just do it have a full house. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. And the last thing is discussion with Al Joyce. Um, and as Connie stated, Al is not here. What was that, just out of curiosity? Was it just something that he needed clarification on, or I really wasn't sure what? Uh, did you see his email? Yeah, but I... It, it was basically, um, there were things in the order of conditions, which um, he says weren't discussed in the public hearing. That were added after the fact, and basically, yes, there were things discussed at the public hearing. But um, once the public hearing is closed and it goes back to the board, we have the authority right. to add conditions. Right. And that's what he's not aware of. Uh huh. So he's questioning why were these conditions put in when they're not they part of it. the public hearing, but. They, right. they don't have to be part of the public hearing. Those are things that we as the commission can right. say, we want this. And that's... Were they thing, Were things in the list of things he had questions about, were they things we actually discussed in the hearing? Or were they things that he said never came up at all and were... No, it was... Surprised to... It, were, it was things that we discussed pro after the, the hearing was closed. closed. And it was uh, conditions that we put in. It, it was the, um, uh, I'm trying to think, I think one of them was the 20, as opposed to 25 foot on that angle in. Yeah. Well, I think one of them was native, native plantings yeah, was inside plantings. the yeah. limit of work line or something. Yeah, like yeah, in their lawn. yeah. So you would require. Yeah. That instead of lawn. And then something about, I think fences. the other thing was fences, which um, Well, I, the I fences are not part of yeah. his construction plan anyway. The fences were just in the plan because maybe later a yeah. homeowner might want to put it up. But okay. if you're putting it in the plan and you want it as an improved part of the plan, and then you're going to get probably a certificate of compliance prior to any homeowner wanting to, how do you then? Yeah, yeah. But basically, I, most of his things were, I think, regarding that. But it's yeah, it's in our purview that we can do that. So, okay. <laughs> but well, we, you it, have your boilerplate special conditions, and, and, you have, and that's what you use. That don't necessarily have to be brought up, right? And discussed, right? Correct. Well, you, Correct. You really should. You should, you should. you should touch on that. But it was, you know. They're credible things that we put in there, so right. And just because it wasn't part of the public hearing, right, doesn't, doesn't mean matter, that. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's what he doesn't understand. Alrighty. Okay. We need a field kit. I think it would help us a lot when we're on these sites. Let's talk about this. We, 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 we've heard this before. We're, we are, now that the budget season is over, over, Sarah is looking at the way the accounts were set up. So we, we want to make sure whatever it is you're requesting comes out of the right account. Mm -hmm. And as we close our fiscal year, we're not spending any money right now anyway. So, how about if you take a look, I know you don't like to go online, 
But can I send you shopping? <laughs> no, I love going online. That's why I don't. That's why I, you don't. I know. Because I spend. But you have to give us a ring. And, and also, okay. I think in the past, I, I, just looking back at my, my, my minutes, Sarah needs to approve these expenditures. Oh, so okay. so you can find what it is that you, okay. you like. And then we will present it to her. And then she will give the green light. Okay. I don't think it's a hurry thing. It's just when oh, you're, no, no, you're no, at no. the We're site just, visit today. I mean, and you were searching for a We should have had a hundred foot have, tape. Yeah. yeah, and you know what? We do have a hundred. We do have a tape up in one of the drawers. Hundred foot. We have a, like a wheel. Yeah, the, the wheel tape. I know what you're you're looking for. Because we really need something that has at least a hundred uh, foot, so you can right. Yeah. Right. You can walk with it. Yeah. So. Let's see what we have. Let's dig those out. And let's, maybe Anthony, you can be in charge of them because you're really good about going to them. We should put some tick repellent in that tool kit. Oh, <laughs> why? <Check>. Poison <laughs> ivy. Uh, what else? Just some, because you know, you can see all the things that, that we schlep and sometimes you guys go, you know, you go to your site visits. Mm. Can we leave you in charge of that? We? Totally be good, right? Yeah. Does that make sense? No, I don't good. mind. Oh, good. Talk you okay. about that, right? All right. <laughs> so we'll dig up what we have, yeah. and you'll, you'll, you'll. Um, I didn't know where to look. I mean, I thought maybe you had a catalog or something. Or... Most, most of the time, we don't get catalogs anymore. <laughs> so. They've kind of moved away from the, the, the 21st. But you know who's a good, probably MACC might be a good resource. I get Uline catalogs sent to me all the time. I usually just make a list of what I don't know, need. L.L. Bean, um, Cabela's. Oh, I think we need Eastern to wear jackets. Yale Conservation Commission, uh, L.L. Bean. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. Because sometimes it's raining or... One of those hats? Like a jumpsuit, so we won't so, get bit by ticks or okay. get poison ivy. So just bring just it to up us. Ideas. You, know, yeah. we, you know, we don't know what you need in the field. How, about, <laughs> how about if you make, uh, if you can email us an inventory of what you do have. I think that makes good sense. Mm. Then we'd know what, what we need. don't need to look yeah, for. Yeah, and so maybe <laughs> give us a couple of days, not this week, okay? Oh, yeah, no, no, but, no, no. Um, you know, we'll dig things out and, and that way, That's you, your needs. you know what we have. All right. Make a motion to adjourn. We, Second. We, we should request for a. Oh. No, you need. Oh, so. Okay, so. Second. So, there you go. Okay. <laughs> we already did, but that's okay. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you for your time. Happy Fourth of July. Enjoy, you guys. <laughs>